Allah also says in the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number three, verse number 104. One of the verses which the Qari Farik he recited, which says, Allah says in Surah Al Imran, chapter three, verse 104, that let there arise out of you a band of people who are inviting towards good, enjoying what is right, and forbidding what is wrong. Allah is talking about full-time dais. How you are full-time doctors, full-time engineers, full-time lawyers, full-time businessmen. How many full-time dais do you have? How many dais do you have which travel to different parts of the world and convey the message? You can count them on your fingertips. Allah says in the Quran that let there arise out of you a band of people, dais, who are inviting people to the good enjoying what is right and forbidding what is wrong, these are the ones that shall attain felicity. I mean, these are the ones that will attain a higher grade in Jannah. Allah says, here Allah is talking full-time dais. There is no better profession than a profession of a dai. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nahl, chapter number 16, verse number 125, that invite all to the way of thy Lord with the wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. I would like to end this talk by giving the message which is repeated in the Quran in no less than three different places. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, Chapter number 9, verse number 33. In Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 9. And Surah Fatah, chapter 48, verse number 28, Allah says, Huwa allazi arthala rasooluhu bil huda wa dinil haq liyuzhira wa ala dini kulli ala qajil mushikun. That Allah has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth so that it will prevail over all the other religions, all the other isms, whether it be Christianism, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, atheism, secularism, modernism, Islam is destined to supersede all. Kulli, master them all. Malaw qajil mushrikun. How much the mushrik don't like it? How much the idol worshippers don't like it? Allah mentioned this twice in Surah Tawbah chapter 9 verse 33 and Surah Saf chapter 16 verse number 9. And the third time in Surah Fatah chapter 48 verse number 28, Allah repeats the message a different ending. Allah says, that Allah sent his messenger with guidance. He has sent the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad with guidance and the religion of truth so that it will prevail over all the other religions, over all the other isms, whether it be Christianism, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Parsiism, Sikhism, Atheism, modernism, secularism, Islam is destined to supersede all. Kulli. Master them all. And enough is Allah as a witness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not require you and me the rubbish that we are. Allah does not require you and me to make his deen prevail. If we think that if we don't do dawa, Islam would not spread. If I start thinking that if I don't do dawa, Islam would not spread. I am the biggest fool in the world. Allah does not require you and me to make his deen prevail. The rubbish that we are. Allah doesn't require you and me. Allah is sufficient to make his deen prevail. Allah is giving us an opportunity to make hay while the sun is shining. Allah has promised his deen will prevail. Whether you and I do dawa or not, Islam is bound to prevail. Allah is giving you an opportunity to do a prophet's job and to earn a profit's reward. I like to end the talk with the quotation of the glorious Quran from Surah Fusilat, chapter number 41, verse number 33, which changed me from a doctor of a body to a doctor of soul. When I found I became a medical doctor because I thought it was the best profession in the world, it is a good profession, but when I found a better profession, the profession of a dai, I changed my profession from a doctor of a body to a doctor of soul. I will end the talk with the verse of the Quran of Surah Fusila, chapter number 41, verse number 33, where Allah says that, Waman ahasunu qala mim man da'ila Allahi wa amila salihaun qala inni min muslimin. That who is better in speech than one who invites 
people to the way of the Lord. Works righteousness and says that I am a Muslim. Wa akhir dawan alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.